I'm Ronnie from Ronnie's Garage and we're having our monthly tech meet and we're going to be taking apart a Turbo 400 uh, hydromatic transmission. This right here has got some serious springs. Remember that rear one had three little springs? This has about 10, no, 12 heavy springs. So I'm not going to be able to sneak that snap ring out real easy. This is a special tool which is pretty slick that is designed let me back it off to hook into that snap ring groove this is pretty stout okay so that's that's in there and then these go down and I want to get be able to access the gap on that thing so I better turn it the snap ring inside you've got to be able to access it This, they make, for professionals, they make this type of tool that's like a foot operated, so you can do it fast. Um, but I don't do enough to justify having more tools laying around. My next tool, I think I might have to build as an engine test stand. That's kind of exciting. So that has to push those springs down. There's a snap ring in here. Sure, it looks like I'm uncoordinated sometimes, but this is real slippery and slimy. That's why I always stick another screwdriver in there to help it along. So there's that. Release the hounds. So there's all those springs I was talking about, see that? And we'll just throw them in, whoa. So those springs do not apply the clutches, they release the clutches. So when they have a lot of springs, stout ones, they want it to come off immediately. Because what happens if these clutches are applied in there and you grab the outside with a band? It smokes them. And that's what happens to the four speed a lot. People mess with the adjustments and it smokes them. So, and also on that four speed, it's really critical is if you don't replace weak springs, the two, three shift, it'll, it'll have a delay or it'll jerk because they're not coming off quick enough. So what's happening, it is applying this before that's fully disengaged and it, it, it's jerky. So, now this one has three sets of seals. You've got, these are crispy. It's, look at that. It just fell apart. It shouldn't do that. Where's my buddy? <laughs> so this, this is really kind of due. Now, uh, one thing, they, they have products out there. Uh, Transex is one of them. It's an additive. And what it does is it softens the rubber on these things. And that's uh, a tool for, you know, just getting you by for a little while. Uh, it won't fix it. Sometimes it causes the seals to fail completely. I've even heard of, I think at the hydromatic seminar I did for National, that somebody said you put a little bit, of, the used car salesman used to put a little bit of brake fluid in there. And brake fluid will make rubber just So just so long as it gets down the block before it breaks, they're, they're happy, right? <laughs> So that you have two seals facing this way, and then they have another one in here, which should be facing this way too, because there's a, almost like a two-chamber effect here. And I wish I knew why, I don't, but this one faces this. So you have, you have a, well, that's not even at the, oh, here's a port. That port, and then you're gonna have another port, which feeds this inside, I think. Yeah, there's another hole over here. So you have two, it, it might be just a, like a softening effect. I don't know how they do it. But you've got three seals on the, this clutch pack and this one, whereas this only had the two, the one direction. 
that I do not, all I ever do on these things is see if they work. I'm going to have to put that back together. If you get in there and you mess with it, springs are going to come out, rollers are going to come out, that whole cage is going to come out, and then you got to figure out how to get it back in there. And I just don't recommend it if you don't have to. There's that one. This one is almost exactly the same. Are those springs part of the kit, or how do you nope. tell? Mm -hmm. Springs don't cover them. These will be fine. That's, I've never seen these. Typically, on a spring, if you stand them all up and they're the same height, usually okay. If they don't look, if you have shorter ones, then there's heat damage, and you can usually see heat damage, and that'll make a spring collapse if it gets too hot. About the smaller springs too. Sorry. Smaller springs on that first unit. Ah, uh, yeah, those are. They, they they hardly ever have an issue. Here's our drive. This is this this goes into this clutch pack. Remember. Uh, and now we have this. This is the fun part. This has got another one in here, which actually hooks to. What is that one hooked to? Oh, it goes to the shaft here. Is that it? Yeah, I think that's what hooks in there. Because this goes out to the wheels right here. So you have all these gears. Let's see those gears inside, outside. Um, that when the clutches and the bands apply, they operate the different gear sets to change the output speed. That's your rear shift. There we go. Now this one, as you can see, has a Belleville wire at the back. It was sitting down in there, obviously. And we, all, we see again some more burnishing. And a lot of this burnishing, I'm sure, is from these dried out seals. Until they get warmed up, and they're gonna slip a little bit. Oh, there's something right there. It's got no more friction material on it. So this thing was due. And I've been telling him over the years, you know, your transmission acts funny. And he goes, yeah, I know, I don't have the money now. And I said, okay. But this, mm -hmm. this time I told him, it's, it's not going to get better. It could you just, just have to watch the video. <laughs> it, it just, it's, cars don't typically fix themselves. This goes inside there. Once again, we have another set of those. Springs. What's that? Watches the videos go 22 hours. You're, you're talking for 10 of them. No way. <laughs> 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 and they fell off the bench. <laughs> The notations that are on these things, does that make sense to you as another mechanic or is this his own personal thing? Talk to an engineer who's been in manufacturing and they'll probably tell you that. I don't think it's from another mechanic, I think that's just from manufacturing, right? These notes? Testing codes or just, see this is a part number, probably this, I don't know what that is. And here's another little, sweet little perishable. You'd think that these plastic things would just dissolve, right, after time, but they're, they're pretty stout. To be honest with you. But you don't ever have to make a note on anything, right? Not yet. This is like a R? Or... No, that's just... Uh, there are people who base their whole careers on, like Corvette specialists and all, getting all those marks right on everything, even stuff you can't see. And, uh, I think that's wonderful. I won't do it. Or this is my buddy's blood. <laughs> <laughs> Not mine. So you said this transmission has been apart because that nail was bent. Can you tell? Well, me? somebody has had bent? that shaft out. I can't say that the, it doesn't look like the transmission per se has been apart, but somebody has had that shaft out because when you pull that nail out and bend it, it will never be straight again unless you're a, an artist. And it's so somebody has had to pull that shaft out for one reason or another. But I I, I can't see any indication that this has all been apart because it's only got. 70 or 80,000 miles. It's not that much for one of these transmissions. So long as they're serviced.
Yeah, that, that, that thing works so much better than a drill press and three blocks of wood. <laughs> a drill press? You use a drill press as a press? Yes, drill press. Nice. And you're an engineer. That's all I have. There's the word press in the name. You can pull it down, it's got leverage, and then you can lock the spindle. And so, t tell me what, since you're British, <laughs> Does jerry rig? Jury rig. Oh, jury, jury rig. Rigged. Okay, jury. so that goes back to actual legal terms. Well, it says this. Jury rig is a sailing term. And it's if you are dismasted, you can set up a rigging or get you home using whatever pieces you have tied together. It's called a jury rig. I thought it had to do with buying off a jury member. <laughs> <laughs> well, <yeah>. Rig jury. <laughs> oh, that's a rig jury. See? <laughs>